a Sunday, September 17th. It's the second day of the uh, urban zone hunt. Pretty cool to have them come right to the base of the tree and great success here in the past early season on the oaks. I'm really excited. It's fun to get a buck down this early on September 17th. Well, it's the afternoon of October 15th and Mike and I are ready to go for the night. The deer we're specifically after tonight is uh, this deer I've been calling Reggie. There's not much more frustrating than that, so that's the deer we came in after. It's the 24th of October, and it's one of the first really cool days that we've had this whole bow season. Dang, he looks good. After he ran across the plot, and I grunted and he spooked, I didn't think I'd see him again, but he popped right back out again. We're gonna stay after this buck, and I think it should be a fun little cat and mouse game for us for a while here, uh, and maybe eventually get our tag wrapped around the wide 10. It was just before 4.30 here, and Josh and I made really good time getting over this farm and, and hanging two stands in this little pine tree. We're not very far up. I've, I find this tree a number of times. It usually works out pretty well. Matt. Matt. old buck. I'm anxious to see how old he is. You know, you can't beat that late October time frame, especially when you combine it with that cold front we just had. This afternoon we're heading back into that big oak tree on the edge of that small clover plot. This is where I've been hunting that buck that I've nicknamed the Y10. I can't believe that. It just shows how quick your season can change during the rut. That was pretty crazy. Well, it's November 3rd here, and Mike and I are getting ready to head to the stand, uh, but it's a special day. We are on our brand new farm that Mike and I just purchased, and I can't tell you how, how excited I am. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to own land. That's pretty cool. That's a Pretty awesome first encounter, 15 minutes into your first sit on the on the new farm. You literally can't ask for anything better than that. It's November 5th this evening and we're hunting directly behind our house. To get a buck on the ground back here would just be just super awesome. And um, it's an eight point that we call the backyard buck. He was out here about three times in the daylight at the later part of October, so with a little luck, we might get it done tonight. Well, it's about 4.15 and we're absolutely froze. The buck we're after, that we call Nemo, has been a no-show, but uh, it, it would be awesome if he come cruising through this hedge thicket and then went down into this draw looking for does. Right. One of our goals has been to try to get uh, a buck on on camera with bow hunting. Go ahead and draw. Yeah. Gotta feel good after all these years to wrap your hands around a nice mature buck. Yep. Hopefully I'm not done. <laughs> Dude, I can 
can hear something over here. The buck we call Gronk. You know, didn't have any shooting lanes and he walked in the only place that I can get a shot and I was able to put a good shot on him about 20 yards. It's one of the most memorable hunts I've been on in a while. It's Saturday, November the 11th. It's my favorite day of the year to hunt. Right. Big boy day on November the 11th. That is awesome. Well, it's November 16th tonight, and this is the same stand that Caleb and I did that little switcheroo last year. Yes, that is a stud of an eight point. Well, it's a little after 3 p.m. on the afternoon of Saturday, November 25th. With any luck, we'll have a, one of those mature bucks show up tonight. That's a buck I call D.Y. It's a, he's a seven and a half year old buck. He's one of the first bucks I got pictures of on this farm when I first bought it three years ago. This afternoon I'm heading back to the plow down plot for my final hunt. There it comes. Think about wore me out coming down across that food plot. I'm really proud of him. I mean, that was a fun hunt. It's the perfect ending for the first part of the bow season. Well, today is December 2nd. It's actually a year to the date that I killed the buck I shot last year, so hopefully December 2nd brings us some luck again. This is Club. Just feel blessed to be able to harvest them and uh, close this chapter on this awesome Awesome deer. Well, it's uh, Saturday, December 9th. Just excited to be out here. She's 27 weeks pregnant with twins, and so uh, still out here and uh, looking forward to the evening. It's not gonna kick, honey. You smoke. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. They shot it. Dad. Mommy shot it. What in the? Oh, can you believe it? Uh, Look how big uh, he is. I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> well, it's the afternoon of January 3rd, and I have Drake with me. We're set up in the redneck blind for the evening hunt. I've actually never killed a deer with a muzzleloader before. That's one of the bucks that Mike and I went over at the cabin. That was exciting though. And like I said, I've never uh, never shot a deer with a muzzle loader, so that was very fun. Well, it's Monday, January 8th. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, got off of work early today and came back down to the farm with Josh for my last hunt of the year. Hopefully we have a good hunt tonight. I think it's the crab claw. Yeah, that is him. <laughs> awesome mess. This is a really cool buck I call the Crab Claw 10. I, it's not often you get to shoot so many mature bucks in one year and I really couldn't be happier. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, 
Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Muddy Outdoors, Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. We had another great season here at Midwest Whitetail, and we learned a few lessons along the way. These are topics that we can cover during the off-season series, which we'll get to in about a month. But right now, let's jump to the ATA show that recently concluded, and we'll take a look at some of the new products from our sponsors. Hi guys, Chris with Muddy. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a few of our new products that we're releasing for 2018. First off, we're gonna start off with our trail cameras. We've got a uh, ProCam 20 now and a ProCam 14. These things take crystal clear images. The ProCam 20 has a ton of unique features on it, packed full of features and at a uh, retail of $119.99. ProCam 20 also takes video with audio and does have a time-lapse feature. So it's just a great overall camera for the, uh, for the price point. These cameras right here are on our dual camera ground mount, um, fully adjustable. A lot of guys are using these on their uh, food plots, facing them opposite direction, putting them on time-lapse mode and you can get a full 360 degree view of the field. So we've got a full lineup of uh, ladder stands and hang-ons. One of the new hang-ons that we've got this year, it's, it's our Boss XL, but one feature that we're doing differently is we put a Flex-Tech seat on it. A lot of people really like the Flex-Tech. It's super comfortable, very wide, water resistant, just a great overall stand. One of the staples for, for Muddy, we've sold these for a lot of years, are the Pro Sticks. It's got the rope cam system, so it's, it's a super lightweight. They all stack together and they'll fit right on your vantage point stand. Another, uh, another lightweight aluminum stick that we have is the Aerolite. So it is, it's longer than the Pro Climbing stick. Comes three in a pack and they also uh, will stack together and then stack on your stand. So for the guys that are gonna do a lot of hanging and hunting, they will have the full setup with the uh, Aerolite or the Pro Climbing sticks in the vantage point. Hey guys, Mike Valier here in the Muddy Booth uh, with our new Odyssey XTL tree stand. Just want to run through some of the features that you'll see in the Muddy stands um, that make them perform out there for you guys in the woods. So here's our Odyssey XTL, has a heavy duty powder coat. We call it our fiber guard powder coating. What that does is allows the stand to have a lot of durability as well as gives you really good traction control. You're going to notice also at every contact point there's nylon washers. It's going to make your stand completely silent. We've done some nice things with flex tech seats and they're very comfortable you can see on this particular model we have actually added a little lumbar curve in there for a little extra support widen the seat out so the odyssey xtl is a 20 foot stand it also features our brand new tree lock system what that does it basically allows you to place the ladder up against the tree ratchet the tree lock in place and then climb up the stand with it secured for you to put on your top ratchet strap so um you can also see we have some accessory hooks and cup holder on this model as well as full shooting rail. So, great stand, Odyssey XTL from Muddy. Hi, I'm Russ Hurt with Redneck Outdoor Products here at the 2018 ATA show. Just wanted to show you the new products we have. We have our new 6x7 Big Country Blind. It's uh, the, the largest blind you can put up on, a, on an elevated stand. We can put it up at 5, 10, or 15 foot. Um, it goes on the same stand, takes an extension that goes underneath it. We also have the new window louvers that helps keep the rain out. And when you have your windows open during, during the season, also shades the sun uh, from your eyes in the, on the east and the west in the, in the mornings and the evenings, works real well. And if we move on around, we've got our soft side ghillie blinds. We have a soft side burlap blind that you can brush in that are designed just like our most popular blind, our 6x6 Buck Palace, and those are new this year and doing real well. We have several other products as well, and you know, visit our website at uh, www.redneckblinds.com. Check out our full line of accessories, bale blinds, soft side blinds, feeders. Uh, just give us a call and we'll get you taken care of. Hi guys, I'm Evan Williams. I'm here at the Hoy Booth, Indianapolis, ATA Show 2018. This is the new Carbon Redworks RX-1. This is a 32 inch axle to axle, six inch brace height, shooting 340 feet per second in the new Realtree Edge. All you whitetail guys, this is gonna be one of your tickets. 
Um, the unique thing about this bow this year is it does go to a 31 inch draw length and a 32 inch model. It has the effective string position angle, so it's gonna fit like a 35 inch bow. A couple unique things that you're gonna see right out of the gate around the grip is the exact grip. It's a perfect hybrid that we've developed between a target and a bow hunter's ergonomic fit. So you have a nice thin down grip at the throat, and then you have the ergonomic cut to fit your hand better in those tree stand situations. Uh, we also have a lower grip geometry than last year that gives you better center shot for arrow tuning, accuracy, and arrow delivery. The other thing that you notice, we've added a rear lower stabilizer mounting location as well as the shock pods. We've taken out the riser shocks. What that's going to do is we're going to minimize the amount of weight in the top end of the bow. With the lower grip geometry, we want to maintain balance. So we've added more weight to the bottom than we have at the top to maintain that perfect balance system that Hoyt has always been known for right at the throat of the grip. Hi, I'm Steve from Easton Archery. We're at the 2018 ATA show. A lot of stuff going on here. Want to go over some of our arrows that we've got here at the Easton booth. Uh, our most popular arrow for hunting this last year was the FMJ. We've got a whole FMJ lineup. We've got the four millimeter, the five millimeter, and the six millimeter. And in my hand for this year alone, a limited edition five millimeter full metal jacket camo hunter with, with our old woodland camo. Uh, a lot of guys probably grew up shooting the Easton Aluminum Arrows with this camel pattern and we brought it back for, for one year on the FMJ. The FMJ's got a, a, a more modern design than those old aluminum arrows with an aluminum outer jacket surrounding a carbon core so you get the best of both worlds out of this one. Um, a lot of guys, like I said, have been all over the FMJ this last year is our, our best selling hunting arrow. Team FMJ, the hashtag was pretty popular with you guys on Instagram. We got a lot of great photo shares and we thank you for that. As you can see, we've got a whole list of, of hunting arrows from top to bottom. If you want to see those, check them out, eastonarchery.com. Hey everybody, it's Tim, Merrick with Best Bow Strings. We're at the 2018 ATA show. Got a little bit of product going on here with our platinum strings. We got the new Ultra End Loop. We got the fast processes. We have the fiber lock. Accuset. We're building these for all custom compound crossbows. Anything that you're needing is fully customizable, and you can go to see your America's Best Bowstrings dealer, or you can go to www.americasbestbowstrings.com and order them straight online. Hey, I'm Michael with RTP Outdoors. I just want to do a quick recap on the new Groundbreaker for 2018. This is the Groundbreaker 3 has an available wheel kit that can be used with a utility vehicle, 12 volt lift and lower system. Come around this way, I'll show you a couple of things. This is the cylinder for your, your raisin lower. Uh, really easy to hook up a tongue to this and use it behind a utility vehicle. We've got a variable clutch, which is incredibly easy to change the calibration. If you take a peek here inside, you've got the same seating delivery system that you'll see on a Genesis product from us which allows you to use uh, any seed size from clover all the way up to corn. Makes it a very versatile machine in a disc harrow operation to be able to get your food plots planted. So come and check us out at ATA and uh, after the show, if, if you don't catch us here, you can catch us at rtpoutdoors.com. Hey everybody, I'm Tyler Jordan here at the ATA show. Really excited to announce our new camouflage pattern, Realtree Edge. I think this is something different than we've done with any other camo pattern. Um, you can see there's an abstract background here, something we've never done with AP or extra. And somewhere I was really impressed with it this year was in Colorado and Utah. And I was hunting the mountains and the rocks. It blended in extremely well. Used it in Colorado and Utah. I was very impressed with it. Um, obviously really good in the hardwoods, timber. I think everybody's gonna be excited about this pattern. Go check it out, realtreeedge.com. Um, hope everybody likes it. Hey, I'm Gene Price with Trophy Rock funny to say that because now it's Redmond Hunt and there's been some confusion about that so I'd just like to clarify that just a little bit. Trophy Rock will always be Trophy Rock. We'll always have Trophy Rock. It has went nowhere. We just created an umbrella company if you would want to call it called Redmond Hunt but we still have our Trophy Rock. We come up with some new products and that's why we created Redmond Hunt so those new products could fall underneath a Redmond Hunt but Trophy Rock will always be here just like you guys have always seen it. We haven't changed anything other than the look and the packaging just a little bit.
One new product that we have that we're really excited about is our Hydro. It's a, it's a product, it's an electrolyte replacer that you put in water. Uh, one bag treats 100 gallons of water, so it's good for all those water tanks that we've started using here in the recent years. It's a really great product, works really well. Another product that we have is our 465. It's the same 465 as we've had the last couple years. It's just simply crushed up trophy rock. And a new product that we have that we don't have a bag here right now, kind of got caught in the snowstorm that we're having at the ATA show, is our new product called Plot Rock. Plot Rock is a, is a supplement that you use along with your fertilizer, like your triple 19s, you knows your MP and K. That's three minerals. That's all it is. You're only feeding the plant. Where our pot rock, you put it on the ground, it has 60 minerals in it. It'll help freshen up uh, the uptake of the minerals and it'll just get real fresh, lush uh, plots and vegetation for them to eat and it'll help the bricks level and also it helps your soil. It puts more minerals back into your soil as a soil builder. So that's it for 2018. I just really wanted to stress that Trophy Rock will always be Trophy Rock. It's not going anywhere. And what you guys will see is the new logo, the Little Deer, and Redmond Hunt. That is going to be the umbrella company that Trophy Rock is now a product of Redmond Hunt. Hello, I'm Cape Johnson with Spot Hog Archery Products, and I'm here at the 2018 ATA show. We have a couple new items in our release line. We have uh, some new wrist straps this year that are really cool. We got a camo wrist strap. We have a very colorful uh, wrist strap we call Muddy Girl. Um, and then one of my favorites is this new wrist strap called the Boa. And we also have a Cameron Haynes signature version, but basically this clicks down like this and you can tighten this up. One of the most comfortable wrist strap releases or wrist straps I've ever used. It's a phenomenal wrist strap. People are really excited about this. Um, and then one of the other releases that uh, may, that may be new to a lot of you is called the Keaton, and this is what we are calling a hybrid release. So it's a wrist strap release that that um, you strap on like a normal release, but it's got a handle that rotates. And the way this works is you want to set this release up so you're holding some of the weight on your wrist and some of the weight on your hand. A normal wrist strap release, when you draw all the weights here, and you're pulling more with your arm, and so with a handheld release you're using more of your forearm but by using a hybrid which you're you're holding the weight here and here you get to use all the muscles in your arm it makes your boat easier to draw it makes you allows you to be able to hold longer at full draw basically you'll fatigue less quickly and so it's really great for uh, people that either have injuries or maybe people that are trying to hit a certain draw weight um, but to be honest with you i love it just because it just makes the bow so much easier to draw like if you're cold or in an awkward angle um, the way that we use it is when we draw, we'll bring it back to full draw, we'll rotate like this and you can shoot it just like a, a wrist strap release. And it really works phenomenal. I encourage everybody to, to get to their local pro store and, and try it. So um, if, for more information about this product or any of these products, you can visit our website at spothog.com. Hey guys, my name is Kyle Smith. Uh, I'm here with Bog Pod. Uh, I'm just here to tell you a little bit about the products that we got. Our product. Uh, the tripod system, the bipod system, and the monopod, uh, we focus on versatility. It's not just a tripod. Uh, you can use it for glassing, hiking, shooting, and uh, that really separates us from all the other tripods that are out there on the market. So one of the unique features about this shooting platform, it's not just a shooting rest. Um, we have an interchangeable system called the switcheroo stem. You can take out your fork, put it in your pistol grip head, and you can glass, you can put your binoculars on it. Uh, whether it's shed season, I mean, it's a multi-use multi-function tripod so you don't just have a shooting rest platform. If you want to check us out, go to bogpod.com and look at all the other products that we have available. New this year from Nikon Sport Optics is the Monarch 3000 Stabilized. This is going to range from 8 to 3,000 yards. It has incline decline technology and it has a bright red crisp OLED display. Five different brightness settings and it also has an auto setting that will compensate for the current lighting in your environment wherever you are. Please visit your local dealer to go and check it out. This will be available in early February of this year, 2018. Please keep tuned also for everything that we have also coming at SHOT Show this year. Thank you. As I mentioned earlier, we've got an off-season series, and that starts every year about the middle of February and runs until about the middle of June. So come back and check that out. Uh, in the off-season series, we talk about a lot of the stuff that we just don't have time to cover during the season. We might get into a little bit more in-depth into strategies, uh, obviously shed hunting, a lot of land management, 
uh, how to plant poor man plots, uh, small points of deer management, just some of the fun stuff that we love to discuss as deer hunters. But like I said, we just, we just don't have time during the season to dive into all these topics. So we'll be coming back again, like I said, the middle of February. So uh, please come back and join us then. And I appreciate all your support this past season. Uh, like, like I mentioned, it's been a great season and we look forward to another one in 2018. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you right back here in about a month for the next episode of Midwest Whitetail. And remember to always dream big.